now for something completely bloody different. Because today I am going to create a computer. Oh yeah, create. Because today I'm going to build my own 8-bit computer from scratch, from the very components it's made of. These computers are called Pignition computers. And you can see a uh, picture of one here. Not the uh, biggest computer in the world, but it is a fully working little 8-bit computer. The keyboard may seem weird, but you'll, uh, you'll see how the keyboard works later, if I get this working. The computer itself is made by a gentleman, and uh, he charges 20 English pound for the kit, which obviously you've got to put together yourself. And it's basically meant to resemble the kits from the 1970s, where in the early days people would have to put uh, computers together themselves for home use. And it's available from the website, which you can see behind me, hopefully if the Vortex is doing her job. Yep, cheers for a change, so uh, nice for change. And the link is, you can see the website's name here, and the link is down in the description. So, what I'm going to do now, because I've never done anything like this, not even soldering before. Not even bloody soldering. I'm going to read some instructions, I'm going to get all my kit together, and uh, you can join me as I try and put this thing together. Okay, we're back. I started recording, but for some reason it went wrong, so I'll start again. Right, I've got all my components in the area. Moved a bit because I started a bit of work there. Got my tools laid out around here. Soldering iron's nice and hot. Sponge there and there. What I'm going to try to do is record it all and then speed it up. But if the camera runs out of battery, which it probably will do, or memory, then I'll try and take some photographs as we progress. And then at the end, we can uh, have a look at the completed product and then see if it works. So, wish me luck now.
Alright, time for lunch and then it's testing time. Chips not please head on. So, time for lunch. Take them. Right, here we are the day after. And as you can see it's all plugged in and going. Uh, we trimmed all the bits on the back. We did the entire circuit testing, which is a long and laborious process. Contact me if you want to know about more about that. Uh, we tested the electronics before we put the chips in, tested it with the chips, and now it's plugged in. So, after a bit of battling with the TV, because I'm using a CRT, so I'm using an LCD, not a CRT as you should use, the ignition is now on, but it's got a bad picture because uh, apparently it does this with uh, LCDs. You need a CRT to tune it enough to get a good picture. But there it is. Um, what I'll do, I'll reboot it. So you see the intro screen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go. Ignition. Look at that. Working. Uh, keyboard works. I'll just quickly demonstrate some little keyboard things, can't see much detail on the camera there, but yes, it's there. So, Fignition built, oh, it's about two hours to put together, two, two hours of testing, and there she goes. So, we're going to have a play with that, and hopefully we'll find the remote control to the CRT TV upstairs, so I'll tune this in up there, which would be much better. But yes, we're going to have a bit of fun with this now, and... Uh, there you go, that's a Fignition uh, number... Which number is she? 2021 built and working and fully tested. And now we're going to find some programs on the internet and download them to her and get them working. But that's for a future program, so there you go. Pleased with that. Never done anything like that before and it's gone nicely. That's a good change for me. Thank you, Vale. Oh, very much.